and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my update for At The Hop. This is a painting project that was created by my friend Misty. It is within the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group and it is a year-long project about the 50s and the 60s which I love. I had to join in and at the very beginning I put all 50 prompts in because I'm crazy and as you see with most of my other projects that are um randomized like this I usually go um like all in it's just what I do I don't like a lot of surprises I like to plan things out I feel like I'm a better painter when I plan things out so um I just I go all in that's what I do so I did it with this one and um I am just I'm doing so well with this project partially because I just really I'm enjoying the subject matter and I don't know I just the products that I picked I just every time I look at them I'm like I know what project it's for and because the project makes me happy I just want to use those products I know I'm a weirdo but um, I actually have some products that are finished some things that are rolled out because goal has been met and I, <laughs> I I got a few things left to show you that are in this project so let's let's do this I'm gonna go in order of prompt and um, You'll see how well I'm doing with this one. First up, TV Dinner, a convenient product. That is the Avon Skin So Soft Original Bath Oil Spray. This is a convenience product for me because it is a moisturizer that is super quick. It is spray on. Plus, I use this when I go out in garden because there's like mosquitoes and other flying insects that um, would generally irritate me, but don't because I have this on. And uh, she done. <laughs> it is completely done. I have like a huge bottle of this still, so I'm thankful for that because, um, yeah, this one is, this one's done. All right, moving on to Mickey Mouse Club, something that a friend sent you or a friend is panning. This a uh, friend sent me, this is from Brown Eyed Girl Charisse. Uh, this is the BH Cosmetic Wild and Free Palette. It is all baked eyeshadows. And I picked my absolute favorite color in the whole wide world, blue. I wanted to work on a blue. <laughs> Go figure. Um, I just wanted to get 10 uses on it. I have done that. And um, like the dome is ever so slightly less rounded, which is good. Eventually, some, someday before I die, that might get done. Might. Um, next up is Cinderella, a sparkly or a glitter product. I just went with a straight glitter. This is With Love Cosmetics, the natural one palette. And I went with this purple glitter to hit pan and bam, you can see how huge that is. I did use that on my fingernails and um, it looked really nice on. So I enjoyed that. Um, next up is Sleeping Beauty. Everything I've showed you so far is rolling out by the way. Um, so Sleeping Beauty is a lip product. Another rollout. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Vintage Lip Gloss. It is done. It doesn't look like it on the sides, but I've scraped as much as I can possibly get out of there. Stoppers out. I've used a spatula. I've used a lip brush, everything. And it's just one of those formulas that just sticks and uh, you just, you can't get anything else out of it. It's just, you know, I think I have one more in my collection. I can't wait for that to be done. Um, well, that one is done. The other one, I can't wait for the other one to be done. Still, everything that I showed you is rolling out. <clears throat> As is the next one. Um, Peter Pan, an item in childlike or child themed packaging. It, it is very childlike with the gingerbread man. This is the gingerbread spice palette and I went for, oh snap. And I wanted to hit pan and lo and behold, I have pan right there. This is Hopefully you can see, I literally have pan in every single shadow in this palette now, which makes me very happy. I am well into my goal of hitting pan in everything. All right, next up is not a rollout. It's my first non-rollout. This is Motown, a black owned beauty brand. So I went with uh, Pat McGrath Labs and this is the Eye Ecstasy Subversive Palette. And I am working on Synthetica, which is this purple shade right here. I have used it. You can see that there's definitely a dip there. There will be an overlay. And um, yeah, I'm just going to continue working on it. It's a, a lovely shade. And it's it looks more purple 
in here than it does here. It's kind of like a dusty purple topper like this where I feel like in the pan it definitely looks more true purple right here but I enjoy it. I have found a way that it works for me. It's just um, one of those you don't need a lot of because it works like a topper. So we'll see how long that takes. I'm not really sure. All right, another rollout. Unforgettable, a product, a favorite product in your collection, which, you know, my hair care, it's all my favorites. This is the Echo Style Olive Oil Hair Gel. I get this at Sally Beauty's. This thing is like 10 bucks. It used to be six bucks and now it's 10 bucks. What are you gonna do? Um, but it's 32 ounces still, 10 bucks is not that expensive. I'm glad that it's done because I actually have a crack in the packaging right there. It's it's going, you can see where all my lines were. I think I have one more in my collection, which is good. And when it's gone, I'm gonna buy it again and again and again because it works and it's inexpensive. All right, another one not rolling out, this is Maybelline. It's a product from Maybelline, which I only own nail polishes, which I didn't want to put in here, or a drugstore product. So I went with the Physician's Formula. This is the Diamond Melt Alec Gold Emerald. And Golden Emerald. It is um, like an, a liquid eyeshadow. I do have it in the centers of my lids today. It is beautiful. Sometimes I'll put it on pretty, um, pretty thick. I just blended it out today and you can actually see the color shift in it when it's thicker. I really like this one a whole lot. My goal was 10 uses on this. So far I've used it three times. I'm not worried about it. I can get seven more uses in, in no time because it does shift um, kind of a bluish, which is more like a teal, not like a true blue, green and gold. So I can wear the same like topper with different creases and it looks different. So yeah, I can get those seven uses done in no time. All right, another non rollout, the Great Pretender, an item that doesn't do its job well. This is from NYC, it's New York color in the Navy. It's one of those eye pencils, sharpenable eye pencils. And um, it's, it's not a bad color, but it's such a stiff formula that um, I, it tugs at my eyelids. And I'm not as young as I used to be. I don't need any tugging at my eyelids. So I use this mostly as um, like for my lips. I actually have it on my lips right now, which you wouldn't believe. But I use this with a kind of an orangey lip liner. I know I have it right here. Like I'm, I'm working on this Sienna lip liner here. And then I put a gloss with it and then go over it with the blue and it co comes out a lot more neutral looking. So that's mainly how I've been using it. And uh, that's how I'm gonna have to continue using it. My goal is just to get to the silver line to the point where I am sharpening off that silver line and then I will consider this gold net. I don't know how long that's gonna take though. I, I don't use it as much as I should, but maybe if I'm focused on it, I will, I will use it more. And then let's see, I have one that is a rollout and that is aluminum Christmas tree. That is something metallic or foiled. This is the ColourPop Jelly Much in Sage Bundle. It is definitely metallic. And uh, I wanted this to be used 10 times. I've used it probably 15. I just really like it a whole lot. So that one is rolling out. 1955 Lincoln Continental. It's a product in it for the long haul and it's been a long haul. This is Milani Hermosa Rose Illumination Powder or an Illuminating Powder, Illuminating Face Powder. I've actually used this a lot as a highlighter. I have occasionally used it as a face powder and then if I'm filming and I've used this, I'm like, I'm way too shiny. I felt like a disco ball, but um, if I use it like as a blush topper or like a subtle highlighter, it works well for me, but I cannot use this all over my face. And my goal is to hit pan, which I do have pan on that. So that one is rolling out as well. And that was my last rollout, but not my last product. Um, 
A-line dresses, a product that starts with the letter A, and this is from the brand Ajua, and it is the Bayomint Protect and Shine Blend, so Shine Oil Blend. It's, it's a hair oil, and I kept forgetting to use it, so I have very little progress on it. Um, I was here last update, now I'm down to here. <clears throat> Pardon me. I have started using this, which is why there's actually some progress on here, but I have not been using it um, as often as I should. I only use it on wash days, which today was a wash day. <laughs> That's why my hair isn't like super frizzy today. And um, it does well. It does very well when I do that with my hair, and um, hopefully I will have continued progress with that one. So I only have four products left in, which is kind of crazy to me. Um, I have like a bazillion rolling out this month and only four in. So I've got the Pat McGrath, I've got the NYC, Physician's Formula, and the Ajua. So I don't know, <laughs> I don't know when this project is going to end for me because it's supposed to be from uh, November 25th of last year to November 24th of this year. I'm not going to make it till November. This one is definitely going to be done early, and um, which is fine because I have tons of other projects going on, and um, you know I've enjoyed it. <laughs> if I can get through all 50 of these prompts early, I'm totally okay with that because that means I've used a lot of stuff. I've used stuff up, and I've gotten progress on a lot of things, and I am a okay with that. So, um, 46 of 50 done. I am very happy with my results so far. Um, I don't know if anything is going to be rolled out next update. Only time will tell how well I do, but um, I'm hoping to at least have some good progress to show you. When I get down to just a few products left in a project, it is harder to show progress because there's, you know, there's less you're working with. So, And with lots of big projects starting, I have a lot of new stuff that I'm working on. It kind of splits your time a little bit. So we'll see how the next update goes. I, you know what, I think I can probably at least get the Physician's Formula out since I only have seven more uses to go on this. I think I can definitely do that one. So wish me luck and um, definitely go check out Misty. She's going to be listed down below. And there's a um, like a playlist of everyone that or a spreadsheet that has everyone that has joined into this project. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.